We good? I think we're ready. Yep. Okay. Uh, this is the regular meeting of the Larkspur Parks and Recreation Commission uh, on Thursday, March 16th. I want to note, as we just talked about, this is our first time back in person in almost three years. So welcome, everybody. And so happy to see um, Nick and Rita here. And I know you guys have done so much in the last couple of years, but it's nice to be able to do that directly. Um, let's see. I think item number one is roll call. Perfect. Um, Commissioner Baxter. Present. Commissioner Fredell. Here. Commissioner Harrison. Here. And Chair Sunshine. Here. And for the record, uh, Commissioner Capel is not in today, or is absent. Okay. Uh, item two is public comment. Is there anyone for public comment? Is nobody in the audience? Okay, item three, we've got approval of the consent calendar, uh, which includes the minutes of January 19th, 2023. And I will second it. Okay, call the roll call. Yes, um, uh, Commissioner Baxter. Here. Perfect. Uh, yay or nay? For approval of the minutes. Yay. All right. Uh, Commissioner Harrison? Yay. Commissioner Fredell? Yay. And Chair Sunshine? Yay. And so far, no Commissioner way. Capel is out. Minutes are approved. All right. Moving along, along right along. We do not have a public hearing today. If none? Correct. No public okay. hearing. So let's go to our business items. Uh, the first one under uh, item five is the parks update. Yeah. Excellent. Give me one second to pull this up. Okay, uh, good evening, Park and Rec Commissioners. Nice to see everyone, most of us in person. Um, parks update for March. I think the last time I did one was in January, so it's been two months. Uh, I'm sure most of you heard over the weekend that we had a massive tree fall on the brand new playground at Dollar Park. Heartbreaking, but nobody was hurt. It's the big news. <clears throat> um, it managed to fall right on the structure. There was lots of space to the right of it. It could have fallen on the little playhouse and went right down the main structure. So uh, there are some parts that are uh, salvageable, for, but for the most part, that will need to be replaced. So right now, gathering estimates and then. There might be a possibility that the that we can file a, a FEMA claim if it's allowable. You know, FEMA might not cover a place structure and might be considered, you know, luxury items. So regardless, um, once we ascertain that FEMA won't take care of it, then the city will make it whole. So it's disappointing. <laughs> uh, on to better. <laughs> That was the bad news, on to good news. Uh, Piper Park uh, repaved a lot, 400 feet of pathway. So the pathway that is in front of the parking lot that faces the soccer field, that is almost, all, almost the whole length of that was replaced. There's a little bit that's still remaining, but that's actually going to be um, repaved as part of the Bonaire Bridge Mitigation Project. And then the other area that's kind of between um, the playground and then to the to the perimeter park that's also been repaved. So that is really lovely to walk down now. 
Fortunately, we couldn't get it done before the night, the um, the holiday lights, but it just had to do with you know contractor availability and uh, rain. And, you know, it's very it's very weather sensitive. We gave it. <clears throat> the other thing going on at Piper Park, the new dog park, is about probably another uh, month, month and a half um, away from being finished. But you can see it's it's. A, a lot of work has been done and you could definitely the sod is the new sod is in uh, a lot is been, has been done there uh, this new park is about twice the size of the existing park a lot more amenities for for um, dogs and people and just as a reminder uh, this is being paid uh, 89 percent by the federal highway administration and it's it's a it's a child project or mitigation project of the bonder bridge replacement project so it's, it's it feels very tenuous but that is that is the the uh, province of it and so it's going to be mostly paid by the by the highway fund um and this dog park is replacing the um the the, the one that's by the community gardens which is going to be restored to title leadership any questions so far? Okay. Uh, Bonaire Landing Park, that's another project that's part of the Bonaire mitigation projects, one of the child projects. And that's going to get it, that is at a complete rehaul, um, overhaul. It'll probably be done, they poured a bunch of concrete uh, this week, and that will probably be done on the end of May. So the dock would be replaced. And uh, it'll be fully accessible, ADA accessible, and um, just opened up a little. The front, you know, the land, you know, landscaping is going to be refreshed, so it'll be in the be in the park as well. Uh, in the same, along the same street on San Felicio Hamilton Park, um, that I just wanted to show you this picture where you can really appreciate how much the the creek view and access has been restored. It's, it's really. It's really quite beautiful. I mean, next week when we have our park tour, it'd be nice. We really, really appreciate it. A um, couple of things that we've done: the perimeter path. I think I've talked about it before. The perimeter path, new new um, entrance sign. Uh, there's a little play feature in the middle of the that red grove of the pebble harp. Uh, new drinking fountain. <clears throat> uh, the I'm sorry. We'll go back for just a second. Those two benches. You can, well, you can't really see them in this picture, but there's two benches. New new benches that are up against the water so you can see, sit by the creek. Uh, the picnic tables, we've replaced the old, the, just the weathered wooden tables that were there with these um, with new concrete tables. And the last thing that needs to be done is right in the front, there's an irrigation, is, there's a wooden uh, structure that covers the irrigation um, valves and whatnot and so uh, there's an eagle scout that i'm working with and he's going to be working on that project to, to uh, refurbish that and once he's done with that that park is done and it is it's lovely <laughs> i've had lunch out there several times and it's it's really quite nice to sit out there uh in the works uh niven park um continuing to work on the bid packet for get get that ready for contractor solicitation uh, Greenbury School Park, the metal climber that used to be at Dolliver, where that play structure used to be, is, is going to be installed um, probably next week. Again, it's weather weather permitting. It's been postponed a few times. Um, and then and start thinking about doing some planning for um, future projects over there and safety at Heaven. And that is it for now. That's my park safety. Any questions? Hey, Rita, I, I had, I guess, kind of two questions. Uh, first, hats off. These look wonderful. Nice to see progress on, on two or three of the, the major parks here. Uh, given the trend of atmospheric rivers, is there a big drainage component to these projects? Is that something already taken care of, or is that in the works for future iterations? Well, um, there's not a whole lot of, I mean, definitely the dog park drainage was put in um, because that does, yeah, that, that was put in as part of the project. Um, you know, these are existing parks, so whatever drainage is there, you know, I'm not, I'm not redoing any of those. Um, at Piper, at Hamilton, there is one of the, one of the areas, the 
the area where the um the drain lines is plugged so that our maintenance crew is working to clean that up. Um, but yeah, that you know, it, whatever infrastructure is there is is will remain there. Oh, that sounds great. Thank you. Okay, is that it? Okay. I had a question. Sure. Just if you could remind me what phase two of Heatherwood Park is. Oh yeah. So Heatherwood Park, um, it's got it, there's two play structures, a large one for um, school age children, five to twelve, and then a smaller one. And so in 2015, the larger play structure was replaced and then we put in rubber surfacing. But the small um structure for uh, preschool children was is still the original one from 20 years ago. So phase two is the replacement of that and, and you know, whatever the whatever piece of equipment might be um, desired. Is there funding identified for that? Measuring. Oh, measuring. Yeah. All, all, most of this is it, measuring. Yeah. Of the new things. So mm -hmm. for these parts, so um, out of the parts that were recently completed, uh, Hamilton, about half of that was measure A, and <clears throat> the other half was that um, the, the California grant, Prop 68 grant money was, was put in there, about 35000 of that. Um, Bonner Landing is, uh, like, as I said, it's part of the highway administration funding, same with the dog park. Uh, this, this pathway was um, paid for primarily from the Prop 68 money. And then Gulliver was a private donation. And then, yeah, and then never park the big playground, that would be private donation as well. Great. Thank you. Great support. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let's move right along. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I, you can't tell. You really can't. Um, I love it. Park Pike. Now try to say this one really fast. Hyper Park Picky Pools update. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. So I hope you guys um, had a chance to all look at the rules. Um, in 2021, we came to you with new rules for the picnic area. Um, we implemented them mostly through through COVID times, but last summer was really the first summer where we got to, to roll them out. Um, things went pretty well. Um, you know, we still had some behavior that was happening in the park that was um, that was not um, not allowed, but it was it was very clear on the rules that that was not allowed. I, I don't know how often police were able to respond to those, but um, but I think it, it made clear, and I think it limited a lot of the behavior that we had been seeing. Um, one thing that came up last summer, we kind of realized was within these rules, we had adopted from the former rules, um, no fundraising and no uh, commercial sales in the park. Um, and what we kind of realized is that there is fundraising that happens out there um, pretty regularly, you know, on a small scale, uh, schools, support groups. Um, I don't think I've any, <laughs> I haven't seen anything too big, but um so one of our one of our thoughts was to take that out of the rules. Uh, I haven't found another park that has those same rules um, in. So I think it was just something that we kind of adopted um, and are now constantly breaking. Uh, so um, so we wanted to present to you tonight to um, to omit that from the rules going forward. Oh, the closet. I guess, I guess my question is if somebody wanted to do like a big scale fundraiser or a for profit, they would would they they would have to rent the park or does that is that not it? Yeah, so they would they would still rent, yeah, rent the area to to um you know the picnic area rents for I think eight hundred seventy dollars this year for 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 a day. Um, so yeah, somebody somebody that wanted to do a fundraiser would rent that plus whatever fields they needed for for the fundraiser. Madam Chair, um, so maybe um, an addition would be um, fundraising activities are allowed if, um, for established 501c3s or whatever you want to call it, for official nonprofits so that 
you know, and then put a for profit entity in there, making money for whatever. I don't know if that happens. I don't know how that happens, but it might cover us if it ever comes up. Mm -hmm. They have to be a 501c3 or A or B or whatever the other delineations are. It is a non profit, I guess. Yeah. Are you offering that as an addition? I'm, I'm suggesting that. I don't know. I don't know if you're asking us to approve this. Are you asking for the vote on this as it is? Or I think we're, we're asking for a vote tonight. Yeah. 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 So so we could take a, a, a motion. Motion, that, <clears throat> the motion would be to approve the, the proposed park rules and regulation as they stand having fundraising for non profits on. I don't, for me, I don't know what about I think that's not profit too. I think it would be but I mean, efficient. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't, like I said, I don't, the, the one that comes to mind, um, some of the ones that come, um, I mean, I think I'm, I'm with you on this, but I'm just, I, I want to make sure that, you know, if we change this, that we don't run into this, we're, we're not you know, so, it, yeah, so for, for instance, instance, like, like a, for eight, seven, mm -hmm. one, is that what you said? Plus whatever fields they need to rent. Yeah. yeah if I'm yeah. making, if I'm trying to raise funds for a for-profit entity, that's a pretty cheap rental space. Mm -hmm. And it works for nonprofits to have an affordable place to try to raise funds. Mm -hmm. But for what about profit, that, that's only, you know, what about schools? Is there not? Well, schools generally have a foundation based. Program that they can use as a like a PTA kind of a PTA thing. is in I, I I'm don't say five hundred one c three a s. Yeah. I can't think of an organization that has and it may not raised be funds that is not uh yeah so yeah I think okay yeah if you're good with it I, I would uh, yeah. Question: Can we think of any other situations that might come up a group that's not an official? But I think if I if I may, um, Jeannie is suggesting not doing making it saying it five like a file just Secretary of State five hundred one c three because then you probably open yourselves up to having to ask for papers and all that kind of stuff. Right. So nonprofit is kind of a a broad. So we could say nonprofit or not for profit groups, not for profit groups. Mm -hmm. well, well, they're two different. I think they're, they're two different things. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I I guess for me, if you're a nonprofit, I mean. I have several that I deal with, and I have a copy of the Bible and CD paperwork on my computer. It's a lot I can send it to you for any nine organizations, but I don't think that's hard to prove. You can also just go on the Secretary of State website and pull it up and see if they're valid. Yes. Yeah. You know, okay. I don't think that's, I don't need to, I don't think that's going to be a burden for Park and Rec staff to go to the Secretary of State. Great Google staff. search. Yeah. Well, we could make it incumbent on the Right, they make to say you, you provide it. Yeah. What the what you're what you're doing by removing fundraising activities, what you're really saying is no commercial activities. Right. Which is what you want to that's true. Right. Okay. So we need to know you're, you're just changing it to well, but are commercial activities non profit too really? Like concerts and if someone wants to do a show out there for a library, you know, whatever, is that is that commercial? That's a, is that convoluted? Hmm. I mean, I don't even know how much of an issue this is. How yeah, do you have? I don't want to maybe beat this horse if it's not a problem in the corner. But I just, I just don't want also someone to come to you and say, "Well, it doesn't say I can't be here," and now you've got you know Google out right. there. Right. Typically, most of our our rentals to for profits, we rent to Autodesk every year, and and it's a it's a picnic. Um, it's an employee of so it's not, not a fundraiser. Big. Most groups that come to the, the park are not doing fundraising. It's mostly right. anybody who's yeah. a for profit or a business is renting it to have a company picnic or whatever. Yeah. And you don't have an issue with fundraising. In fact, what you want to do is you want to permit fundraising. Yes. Correct. Right. You have on that? I, I know to me getting rid of the the 
prohibition on fundraising is the end is the end goal. Right. We want to get rid of that, and you can do it by just striking this. You want to not allow a commercial activity that is addressed. So the only question would be: Is there a fundraising situation that you wouldn't want to take place? Well, I mean, I'm thinking of the upcoming events that the department has planned, which are vast as we come out of our cocoons, <laughs> and there will probably be fundraising events. And those are okay. Music in the yeah. park. Mm -hmm. Music. The parks in yep. the it's been a while. Yeah. Music, Music in the park. park. Yeah. Music in the park. Whoever is sponsoring that night will be fundraising for that. So that will be, I mean, by definition, what the department has planned mm -hmm. will involve fundraising. So we might need to address it in some form or other. Because what that does is if someone who's there and says, oh, Bob's Park is raising money for something to do in the city, we could raise money for our group here. Mm -hmm. And then how do you define that? You know, yeah. I, mean, I think that that adding that would give us what we needed. And, and I mean, with the, you know, we rent the hall gym and we have different rate schedules and one, and instead of using nonprofit, we use community group for one of our rates. Um, and it kind of has a, a broader and it encompasses a broader group that that is tied to the community. I don't know if that's like an official term, but it. Uh... Well, but by definition, too, if someone were denied rental because they want to raise funds as a commercial event, mm -hmm. um, they could, in fact, come before the commission and ask for an allowance waiver because yeah. they're doing this for whatever reason, and it's like giving it before us for approval. Or you could bring it before council or Dan and I'm really the final say. But like I said, I don't want to be even non dead horse, but I think you should put something in there that said, you say no commercial sales, because mm -hmm. you're actually not saying commercial, you're saying no commercial events, because no commercial sales means someone's out there selling shirts for profit, right? right? Mm -hmm. um, you want no commercial sales or activities? Or you yeah. just want to say no commercial sales. We're looking to take out no fundraising. Right. Yeah. Which will allow people to fundraise. Correct. Right. Yeah, maybe just change no commercial, no change sales to activities. No commercial activities are allowed in the city of Fox space. With commercial activities. I think outlawed, that's how I mean, you define it when anyone comes yeah. to you. You've but, got Purview. Would that make it so that a for-profit group couldn't have a family picnic out there, like a staff picnic? I guess. Speaking as someone who works law adjacent, I think it's how you interpret the law. <laughs> <laughs> and I think if you leave that more broad in that no commercial activity is allowed in the city park space. You have some space to decide what that means. I'm not in favor of necessarily making laws ambiguous, but in this instance, I also don't think it's like that. Mm -hmm. uh, can I ask a question? Yes. Sorry, from uh, from cyberspace here. I, I know several other parks in the state uh, or cities have commercial use permits for their parks so they can get additional revenue. Is that something that we are adverse to at this point, or do we want to just outlaw any kind of profiteering whatsoever and not not get the revenue opportunity? Uh, you know, we um, I believe we have commercial permits, but they go through City Hall, and they're more an event permit. yeah, an event permit. Um, okay. Yeah, we've never had a huge event in Piper. That I know of. So is what you want by saying no commercial sales, I can't set up a table in there and sell t-shirts. Okay, okay. What about if I want to set up and have my niece sell Girl Scout cookies? Is that okay or is it not okay? That 
I mean, Girl Scouts would be a non-profit organization, so but, the, but it's it is sales, isn't it? It's not fun. It's commercial. I mean, it is fun for the Girl Scouts. Because a lot of times a troop will have, you know, we're we want to go to this trip, and so we, yes, you know, yeah, we're so selling we've cookies for before. this. Yeah, we have. <laughs> <clears throat> or the or the little league or the you know girls softball. I mean, I could see them wanting to do something. But I would bet those also all have. Uh, foundation of right, right, right. Yeah. yeah, but to raise, but I think, I mean, I think that's the type of community thing we are okay with. I think right. it's more like vendors coming in and selling, you know, yeah, no, it could be somebody markets. coming in and setting up and selling hot dogs, you know. And so, that, so when but, we, but I mean, just said, hey, wow, this place is really busy. Yeah, yeah. Right. well, so we do have an ice cream stuff. truck that yeah, goes by, but. Okay, there you have it. But, but when we done the when we did the music and the the music event, we we sold tickets for food, right? We didn't have them paying the the pig and the pickle people. Yeah, but that, but that's a nonprofit, right? Mm. Oh. But we would sort of we would kind of want to do it that way if we pass this. If we change the because then we would actually be right. It's a good point because now yeah. we've just said no commercial activity, right? When we do music in the park, we get food vendors to sell food. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we should. Switch to the ticket system or add some sort of a token so that they're not. We're still selling, buying a token, right? Can we not limit you guys so much and maybe make this one a one-two mm -hmm. punch where one one thing is like we're basically normalizing what's happening already is what you're mm -hmm. why you're limiting the, the, the no fundraising, and then maybe have another conversation about whether we want to put more regulation in place around these potential commercial. Uses that well, not fairness the commercial activity is not happening in the park park. right? Exactly. So, <laughs> in non profit or not for profit. Um, so, I, you know, are you suggesting perhaps we just eliminate the sentence altogether? Well, I'm just I'm thinking that we're kind of tying ourselves a little bit in knots here, I agree. you know, whereas let's achieve what you're trying to achieve with yeah. the, this elimination. Well, and, and, yeah, to and then think point, about to your point, you're what saying like what you're saying, take out fundraising activities because. Right. right, and by your very astute definition, commercial sales are actually yes, pick and pickle and whoever we yeah, right. yeah. is actually selling food right for right. an event that's put on by Park and Rec, and they're making money. Yeah, they make the they money. make the money. Yeah, you might want to do a whole thing. It would work for it's me. A good point. We yeah, work through it. Mm -hmm. Dug ourselves out of a hole. Got created. Sorry. No, no, no. I'm, you raised some really, yeah, absolutely. Of all the uses of the park, but mm -hmm. it feels it feels like limiting you guys. <laughs> and I don't know if there's anything else in the regulations that could, you know, if it felt if it felt really bad to you, like it was. Well, but then again, should the, the pig and the pickle people? I need to bring them up. Sorry, whoever the food vendor is, should they fill out an event permit to be there, or are they encapsulated in your event? They are part of our event. They provide insurance for us, but. Um... But, and they also do a kickback on right. percent of sales. Yeah. Well, now, so just, now you just dug that hole again. So I feel we <laughs> so maybe maybe the I agree with that. So maybe in order to um, well, actually, then they become a vendor, and then we have rules for a vendor, meaning that they have to get a use, for it, which you get for them because mm -hmm. they're under your event. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I go so back to vendors. Let's just say no commercial activities, because they are covered under vendors. Food vendors are covered under vendor, and they're encapsulated in a parking rec event if they're hired by them. Right. And so if I rent, if I if I want to have a big birthday party, and I want to bring in, you know, somebody with, you know, the pick and pick, I want to bring them in. Get on a press. Team. I can do that under these under these rules, right? Because they're a vendor. Because, yeah, because I'm a park user, and as long as I follow vendor rules, I can have my pig and pickle or pizza. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm not coming to your party. <laughs> and I make people pay for their food because <laughs> it's such a good party. <laughs> hey, you know, I've gone back and forth, but I think the best answer is to make that whole yellow one. Mm -hmm. or do we keep do we keep 
say no commercial sales or activities without a valid vendor permit. Yeah, that might be the so safest thing to do. Yeah, it's that way you deal with something. Yeah, there, like there that. it is. That's yeah. that's it. Yeah. And then you and have that to do that's why you get the ability to say no to a vendor. Yes, yeah. right. no commercial yeah. activities yeah. without prior yeah. permit approval. Yeah, that about yeah. So mm -hmm. when I'm selling my t-shirts, I've already given them. I know. Exactly. Deny that. Gotta make it sign. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I like it. That way we don't have to worry about it being a okay. nonprofit or anything. No commercial activities. Unless yeah. they, okay. So the motion is to approve the event, the proposed rules and regulations as stand with the final change of no commercial activities unless previously approved by a vendor. And I don't know if that permit's the right name, but whatever that. Well, use a per user, 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 yeah. user permit. That is my without, question. Yeah, without without a, that change, form yeah. change. Yeah, discussion on that. Okay. So that was my motion. Okay. Okay. I will second. Okay. Is that a second? Okay, let's vote. All right. <clears throat> Commissioner Baxter. Aye. Commissioner Harrison? Aye. Commissioner Ferdell? Aye. And Chair Sunshine? Aye. Motion passes four to zero. With Commissioner Capel absent. Okay. Um, item six, the director's oral report. All right. Thank you. There's been nothing going on right now. <laughs> 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 it's it's busy right now. Um, so uh, first off, I want to um, let you all know that on um, Saturday, March 25th, we're going to be doing a parks tour. So um, hoping most of you can make it, and, and we can do a makeup later. But but Rita and I are practicing our our bit for uh, for the tour with the city van, and we have invited city council to join us as well. And so um, we're waiting to see how many. Um, Council members attend, and if um, if we'll need to notice that too, but you will see a special uh, meeting notice go out for the commission. That'll probably go out tomorrow, and so we'll, it'll be a, a special um, meeting that we'll be having. And uh, members from the public are welcome to attend if they like. Do you know what time it would we would meet on that Saturday? We're going to meet between nine thirty and ten at at um, at the recreation office. So I'll check in with everybody tomorrow to see where our numbers stand for that. Oh my um, we have hired a code enforcement officer um, oh. between, yeah, so yeah, just started a, a few weeks ago and it's a split position with the city of San Anselmo and city of Larkspur. Mm -hmm. And right now they, they're focusing a lot on parking uh, in downtown Larkspur and downtown San Anselmo. Um, the Parks Department in San Anselmo was able to nab them for uh, for catching high school kids um, after hours in the park. So they, they've been focusing a lot on, on cleaning up Memorial Park. Um, and I had a meeting with them last week about starting to patrol uh, Larkspur Parks as well um, for, for code infractions, um, mostly dog off leash right now. I think we're kind of waiting till the, the dog park opens so we can give people a good option and um, they will be available for, uh, for the picnic season as well. And there is a position open as well. So this is ideally two positions that, um, that we have. One of them's uh, unfilled right now. So if you know anybody that wants to patrol parks and give parking tickets, um, we, need, uh, we need one more person. <laughs> and that person uh, reports directly to, um, um, to the police department. And as Commissioner Fridell stated earlier, we are looking to bring back music in the park uh, this summer. So, so we're looking at dates right now, uh, sponsors, um, performers, and uh, very, very excited about getting this back up. It was a, um, kind of a, a baby event project of mine that, um, that I was really excited with where it was and then, and then COVID. <laughs> so, um, so we're going to be starting that up again this summer. I'm really excited about it. 
April 7th, we have our, that's the Friday, Friday, April 7th, we're gonna be having our annual um, flashlight egg hunt at Piper Park. Uh, we have not done that for two years now, so I'm very excited to get back to that. Uh, that'll be at <clears throat> dusk, um, so get that at 8.30 start time. Um, and it's absolute mayhem. I encourage you all to come down for it. It's, uh, even if you don't leave your car, actually, I encourage you not to leave your car, <laughs> uh, but, but a ton of fun. And it's great to see just how excited the kids are down there. Uh, hoping that the grass will be relatively dry at that point. And then April 8th, we're doing, um, uh, with the city of Corte Madera, we're going to be doing a joint egg hunt at town park, um, that morning. So Saturday, April 8th at 10 AM. We did it last year and it was great. We kind of combined forces and, and um, had a huge turnout from the community. So it was, it was really nice. And I, I should go back to the, the flashlight egg hunt is actually gonna be a, a joint venture too. So we'll have staff from Cord Madera out there. And um, so it's a good good way that we're kind of working together. Um, so close, we're serving the same people and um, a lot of fun. So I, I encourage you to come. <clears throat> Let's see. And then the big update, I'm still overseeing library right now. We will be, um, if you're not aware, we are going to be dividing up the library and rec departments again. So we were community services. It happened three years ago, and uh, we're going to be dividing up again. We are in the process of hiring a library director. Uh, the position is open. So if you know any great candidates, feel free to, uh, to let them know that we're looking. The position will close April 3rd. Uh, the first interview is being April 19th. I'll be on the first panel and um, and the library support groups have all nominated somebody to be on the second panel. Uh, it's not, sorry, not on the second panel, but part of a, a, a round table discussion with uh, city manager Dan Schwartz and, um, and the candidates. So, um, so we're excited to get somebody in place. I'm excited to get somebody in place. <laughs> and um, at that point, I, I may be a little early on my announcement, but um, but I will be taking over the rec director role. Um, I believe that'll be official next week. I'll still be interim library director until until we um, until we hire the next person, but I, ideally that happens in June. But um, so um, well earned. Congratulations. Yes. Congrats, Nick. Thank yep. you. Thank you. Yeah, those are my uh, reports. May I ask a question? Um, what are you thinking of the timeline for the music report? I know you don't have dates yet, but what months are we approving? I would like to get the first one up in May, late May. Um, just kind of pushing it. It might it might end up being early June, but um, but I think people are in town in May, and as long as I avoid that um, um, holiday. the holiday weekend, it's um, it's good. So hopefully the parks will be dry by then. <laughs> I'm eyeballing four right now. Yeah. <clears throat> Any other questions for Nick? Um, why don't we move on to commissioner's reports? What reports? I I'm sorry, I'm just looking at you. Yeah, yeah we're just talking here. Yeah. Um no, I don't. <laughs> I do find it seeing that the, for me, I sit on the, the Commons board as well, which we're very excited that um, regardless of city council's decisions, that our RFQ is going through. So um, that's moving along. Uh, there'll be a one, I don't have the date at the tip of my tongue, it's on my phone, but um, we're expecting them back. We'll start scoring them. Uh, one is, July 27th, something like that, late yeah. July. Um, so we'll hopefully have our crews back and we have a combined group of the community will sit down and review those. So we're getting the library. Amazing. <laughs> with $10 million. So um, it's great. And whoever, thank you, whichever entity, public works as well, put the sign back up. So thank you for that. Because we lost the Congratulations, Lars, for you got a $5 million grant, went over <laughs> in one of the storms. Public and, works. Uh, yep. In my highly educated professional opinion, it was because the post was bad, but 
I told Dan in my past experience of understanding how poor surgery sort of drown, I feel it was bad. But I'm sure it was just rain and wind. Maybe. But it's back up, <clears throat> so thank you. Great, great, great report. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for all of your service on that board. And it's an amazing report. Thank you. 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 Thank any other commissioners' reports? Seeing none, uh, I do. I need a motion to approve you. Sure. Okay. okay. Do I, I will. I will make a motion. We'll second that motion. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just all say aye. I think we can move in. Just do a voice vote. Yep. Voice vote. Aye. Aye. <laughs> Yeah, just yeah. Excellent. Thank you so much. Well run. Thank you. See you guys. Uh, <laughs> I mean, see you next time.